Remitting Ubu begs lead, religious leaders not to curse government. Eh, so people don't like us. Okay, now. Now to the news info. Nigeria's first lady, Senator Lou Remitting Ubu, has called on religious leaders to prioritize prayer and guidance for government at all levels instead of condemning them. She made the remarks at the opening ceremony of the International Conference of the African Biblical Leadership Initiative, ABLE, which is taking place over four days in Abuja, themed value-based leadership model for Africa. The conference has attracted African and European leaders, as well as global Christian leaders, to discuss leadership issues across the continent. In her address, delivered by Princess Gloria Okobundo, the National Coordinator and CEO of New Partnership for Africa's, Africa's Development, NEPAD, the First Lady lamented the numerous leadership challenges confronting Africa. She urged religious leaders to focus on peace, prayer, and constructive guidance for government leaders. So as spiritual father, I urge you to build and foster peace and development and to pray for the government. Let us not cause, insult, or castigate the government, rather speak the truth to leaders and the conscience of our citizens, she said. She also encouraged religious leaders to model their actions after Jesus Christ's teaching, noting that Christian leadership must be based on justice, integrity, wisdom, and social harmony. Let us not equate ourselves to God, nor take his place, knowing fully well that God can use anybody to achieve his purpose and fulfill his agenda on earth. Africa is at the crossroad, facing numerous challenges that requires effective leadership, she said. So, is the effective leadership that your husband is doing? Is his leadership effective? I don't think so. Mrs. Tinubu's call for value-based leadership was echoed by the president of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Daniel Oku, who underlined the importance of integrity and purpose in leadership. He described leadership not as a position of authority but as a calling to serve. Our thoughts and actions should align with higher principle of truth, Oko said. He also prayed for God to raise compassionate and conscientious leader of Africa for Africa, especially in the face of economic uncertainties, insecurity and social injustices that threaten the continent's unity and progress. Oko stated that leadership must be grounded in love and unity as the continent tries to overcome its, its many challenges. The ABLE conference is expected to explore further how value-based leadership mode can be addressed, Africa's complex issues, and contribute to building a prosperous and peaceful future. So you people don't like us, uh, you people don't want to be cursed, yet you're not doing the right thing. If you're not doing the right thing, people will curse you. People will curse you because the country is hard. There's hunger. What do you expect them to do? Oh, they should pray to God. Oh, God, bless President Sinobu for causing hunger in the country. That is not possible. That is not possible. But then Ruth says, waiting you just started. Abiu. Hope that he says, God will judge both of you. Nonsense as you are. If I you days, he says, only you now, First Lady and Senator. Ready woman, can't you resign as Senator and focus on First Lady? Abiu. Even your husband, too, now, President and Oil Minister. Chai, this country is eating so deep in corruption. Now, so, Peter Chinasa says there's a Latin phrase that said, Vos popular vote, voice of the people, is the voice of God. No, it's not even religious leader, but the masses you and your government put in pain have cost you and your satanic government. Yes, Nigerians are the ones causing you. Leave religious leaders alone. They are not the ones causing you. It is the Nigerian people. That are causing you the ones that you have put in, in hunger, in poverty, that you don't want to make, let them make progress. They are the ones causing you. Zini Lepmev says, You are cursed already, Mrs. President. Oh, oh. Emmanuel Jacob says, All this pain your husband is inflicting on the masses, he will give account of it one day. Tell him to repent by reversing all his harsh policies, or else God's judgment will locate him very soon. See, the courses have continued in the comment section. So please tell your husband to do something about this policy that he is putting down. He should return the offer subsidy. He should do something. If not, if he knows that he doesn't have the solution to the problems of Nigerians, he should step down. It's not by force to become the president, or at least he has been there now for a year and a half. He will still be there. They will still always refer to him as the president. So 
Because I know that is what he came to do, to, to put his name on record that he was once the president of Nigeria. So now it is time for him to step down if he knows he doesn't have a solution to the problem of Nigerians. Olawale Elisa me says, why is she begging them not to cause government because of the bad thing they are doing? God will judge all of you. Amen. Ayala Kazim says, your generation has been cursed forever. Hmm. Rashid Ajibola says, nobody is cursing government. You are the ones cursing the government by removing our daily bread from our table. I'm telling you, the, the hardship is on the high side. It's on the high side. It is getting too much. You buy Ororo 2000. 100 today, tomorrow it is 2,300. Next tomorrow it is already 2,600 for one bottle. How do you expect people to survive? How? Things are getting too hard, too difficult. The price you bought today, you won't buy it tomorrow. So where do you expect people to get money from? No jobs, nothing. No insecurity. We are fighting for our lives for food. Yet we will still be scared that kidnappers will kidnap us. There is insecurity in the land. So which one are you even doing? You're not doing anything. Everything is, is hard. Everything is happening at, at the same time. And yet you're saying that they should not cost you. They will cost you. Grace Aclair says, we, defend, we demand for referendum now. Vivian Chama says, Madam, are you afraid of the anger of God? But you are, you are not afraid of the anger you brought to the poor. You and your generation are already cost. Frank Ovie says, you and your husband are already cost. When nobody curses you, even God in heaven is angry with you because you and your husband's government have led many to untimely death. No peace for the wicked. Yes, so no peace for you. You create hunger. There's insecurity. There's kidnapping. There's killing. There's all sorts of things happening in the country. No light. Nothing is working. And yet they are saying that people should not curse you. How would they not curse you? They have been blackouts in the north for like how many days now? Everything those people are selling have, have spoiled. People's market, all sorts of livelihood. They're not doing anything about it every day. Greed is collapsing. Greed is collapsing. Now, people's source of livelihood, gone. People's frozen food, gone. Nothing is being done. And people are saying that they should not cost you. People are not even doing well in one sector. At least we know that, okay, they are trying in this particular section. Let's be patient for them. They will do something for this particular section so very soon. But no, nothing is working. People are not doing anything, and you're saying that they should not cost you. Destiny Wise says, religious leaders should continue to pay for your successful loot in Abi. Oh. Charles Kamani says, you were openly saying that you are rich. I'm telling you, you say you and your husband are rich, and you're not using the Nigerian money to donate. Donated uh, one million, I pay one billion for university. Donating money, yet people are hungry in the country. And yes, you're not doing anything about it, and you're saying that they should not cost you. They will cost you. Even if they don't cost you, God gone will cost you. That is just the truth. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.